students today's subject is world's math english conversation book page number 40 chapter 29 season children we have three season in our india it is summer season and monsoon and winter season children what do we do usually in summer season we will eat ice creams lots and lots of ice cream will be had only in the summer season and we use umbrella right where do we use umbrella and why do we use umbrella if it is rain we will use umbrella in which season we use umbrella it is in monsoon season nowadays it's raining more no so we have to carry umbrella if we go outside so winter season what is winter season you feel more cold now also we have a cold right what do we do we wear a warm sweaters warm clothes why we wear a warm clothes and sweaters because we will feel cold to our body let us now go through this chapter how seasons are helpful to us okay which are the three seasons three main seasons in india the three main seasons in india are summer monsoon and winter the clothes do we wear in winter it is we wear a warm woolen clothes in winter which season we wear warm woolen clothes winter season which are the three main seasons of india summer monsoon and winter so what do what do we need to carry when we go out on a rain, rainy day we used to carry a umbrella on a or a rain coat when we go out on the rain day see on the rain day what we have to carry umbrella or the rain coat or a rain coat we have to carry must okay so next we have what do we love to eat and drink in summer so what we like to eat in summer we will drink cool drinks or ice creams no we love to eat ice creams and drink cool lemon lemonade in summer in summer we will drink cool drinks and ice cream because we feel very hot very thirsty so we eat ice cream and cool drinks we can't eat we can't drink ice cream and eat we can't drink cool drinks and eat ice cream in winter or monsoon season because we will be shivering so cold the ice cream and cool drinks will be cold no so if we drink in summer season if we consume in summer season it is very good because we feel thirsty so we have to cool our body for for that purpose we eat ice cream and drink cool drinks okay then in winter season and monsoon season what you like to eat we like to eat hot hot food okay we like to eat hot hot food so this is what happens okay next chapter we have a festival we'll see festival what is festival this page number 41 so what is festival to you children we are celebrating many festivals no indian festival what are the indian festival we have we have republic day independence day and what we have gandhi jayanti we have no so when when is celebrated republic day january 26 and when we will celebrate independence day it is on august 15th and when do we celebrate gandhi jayanti october 2 okay like this many festival are there when do we celebrate a diwali last week we celebrated a diwali no so what we use for it we burnt our crackers so in this chapter we will know 
what for what and all festival how we will celebrate it okay in now we have a christmas in december we have a christmas so christmas who will celebrate christianity people will celebrate why they are celebrating because it's a birth birthday of jesus they celebrate very grandly no so same way for what and all festival how we celebrate we will come to know in this chapter okay so in this chapter we have makar sankranti which will come in january month so why we celebrate makar sankranti it is celebrated in our can in our state south south people will celebrate makar sankranti why they will celebrate it is an harvest festival celebrated in the month of january i told you know whatever they will harvest in that season they will celebrate in january month in the january month which and all which and all crops are grown they will keep the crops and they will celebrate as makar sankranti so in january month which which can you give me one example i'll give you one example in january month we all will eat what sugar cane kabbu you know no kabbu we we'll eat kabbu no in the which month it is in january month it is makara sankranti we eat more kabbus in the makara sankranti because it is grown on the month of january okay it was it will be harvested in the month of january then next we have a holi you all play holi no we what we will do we will pour the colors on friends families we enjoy right so what is holi holi is sprinkling or sprinkling festival or spring festival spring festival okay it is a festival of colors we have many colors in holi no which all colors we have yellow pink green blue and all we have what we do we will sprinkle on each other we will splash on each other and we will enjoy it is a festival of colors which is a festival of colors holi then we have a baisakhi what is baisakhi baisakhi is a festival celebrated in the month of april to thank god for the good harvest who will celebrate baisakhi the sikh sing people you know no sing they will tie the turban on the head no they will celebrate baisakhi we will celebrate by uh, we will celebrate makara sankranti on january month no why we celebrate harvest festival so whatever grown whatever is harvested in the month of january we will celebrate as a makara sankranti by keeping it so whichever it's a celebrated in the month of april to thank god for the good harvest for good harvesting month of april the good harvest for the good crops grown they will celebrate as baisakhi the sikh peoples will celebrate april month why why they will celebrate for the good harvest for the good harvest they will celebrate this festival in the month of april its name is baisakhi then we have raksha bandhan you, you all know raksha bandhan no what we do on raksha bandhan we tie a rocky for whom we tie a rocky a sister will tie a rocky for her elder brother a sister will tie a rocky for her elder brother so raksha bandhan means raksha bandhan is a festival to celebrate the bond of love the bond of love they will celebrate they will tie a rocky you all know no raksha bandhan what we will do we will tie a rocky is many sisters will tie a rocky is for the brother okay next we have eid eid is celebrated by muslims why they will celebrate eid let us see 
இது இஸ் செலிப்ரேட்டட் அட் த மந்த் ஆஃப் ரம்ஜான் எண்ட் ஆஃப் த மந்த் ஆஃப் ரம்ஜான் வி செலிப்ரேட் ஈத் ஓகே ரம்ஜான் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஒன் ஃபெஸ்டிவல் நோ ஸோ தே வில் பி ஃபாஸ்டிங் ஃபார் தட் பீரியட் நோ இந்த மந்த் எண்ட் ஆஃப் ரம்ஜான் வி ஹாவ் அ ஈத் ஓகே பீப்புள் ப்ரிப்பேர் ஸ்பெஷல் ஃபீஸ்ட் பீப்புள் வில் ப்ரிப்பேர் த முஸ்லீம் பீப்புள்ஸ் வில் ப்ரிப்பேர் அ ஸ்பெஷல் ஃபீஸ்ட் வாட் அண்ட் ஆல் தில் ப்ரிப்பேர் பிரியாணி கீர் அண்ட் ஆல் தில் ப்ரிப்பேர் நோ அண்ட் டுகெதர் டு செலப்ரேட் தே பிரேக் தேர் ஃபாஸ்ட் சி டு செலப்ரேட் தேர் பிரேக் ஃபார் த ஃபாஸ்ட் ஹால் தீஸ் டே தேர் பி இன் த பிரேக் தே ஓன்ட் ஈட் எனி திங் நோ தேர் ஃபாஸ்ட் நோ on that day they will celebrate nicely with a special feast what are the special feasts they prepare biryani and special dishes sweets snacks everything they prepare on the eid because there will be very much fasting every day so on that day they enjoy with a special feast that is called eid okay next we have a what is this who is he கணேச சதுர்த்தி வை டு வி செலிப்ரேட் கணேச சதுர்த்தி இட் இஸ் இஸ் பர்த்டே ஸோ கணேச சதுர்த்தி இஸ் செலிப்ரேட்டட் ஆஸ் த பர்த்டே ஆஃப் காட் கணேஷா ஸோ காட் கணேஷா இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஹாவ் அ பர்த்டே ஸோ வி செலிப்ரேட் கணேச சதுர்த்தி வி ஆல்சோ செலிப்ரேட்டட் திஸ் இயர் நோ இட் ஆல்வேஸ் கம்ஸ் அந் த மந்த் ஆஃப் செப்டம்பர் ஸோ செப்டம்பர் கணேச சதுர்த்தி வி செலிப்ரேட் வாட் இஸ் கணேச சதுர்த்தி இட் இஸ் அ கணேஷாஸ் பர்த்டே ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் வி ஹேவ் நவராத்திரி ஸோ நவராத்திரி வி ஹேவ் நோ தட் ஃபெஸ்டிவல் நைன் டேஸ் வி வில் வர்ஷிப் காட் நோ ஸோ நவராத்திரி இஸ் அ ஃபெஸ்டிவல் ஆஃப் வர்ஷிப் த நைன் டேஸ் ஆல்சோ வி வில் வர்ஷிப் காட் இன் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் அலங்காராஸ் இஃப் யூ கோ டு டெம்பிள் யூ கேன் சி in different alankaras a same god will be decorated different alankaras so navaratri is a festival of worship and dance you can see in temple many different alankaras will be there daily your mother will take you to the temple and there will be a program also bharatanatyam or singing something will be there in the temple on that day so navaratri is a festival of worship and dance so next picture we have dasara dasara we had dasara right so dasara why we celebrate is a festival that celebrates the victory of god over evil see in this picture we have a rama here what is it doing he is a evil he is a bad man he had a 10 heads okay though so he is is he is what he is doing he is shooting a arrow he is killing this evil so the victory of god the victory of good over evil so good over evil so we celebrate dashara dashara is a festival that celebrates the victory of god over the evil then we have a diwali why we celebrate diwali it is also same thing so victory over the evil we have to celebrate now how can we celebrate by lighting the lamps busting the crackers so we are enjoying it's a festival of lights diwali is called as festival of lights then we have a christmas here christmas in the month of december we have a christmas this we enjoyed in which month we enjoyed in the navamar month we had a diwali no all blasted the crackers burned the crackers and lighted the lamps and all no in your house so diwali is a festival of light in the man in the diwali all the houses will be full of light and lamps okay so christmas in the december we will be having christmas i told you before it's if no christmas is celebrated on 25th of december always christmas comes in the same date 25th of december why because it is marked the 
birth place of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ birth birthday is celebrated. Jesus Christ birthday is on twenty fifth December. So all, all the month twenty fifth December they will celebrate Christmas. We will celebrate Christmas every year on the twenty fifth of December. Why? Because it's a birth of Jesus Christ, whose birth it's a birth of.